Hey guys, and welcome back to another Tech Guru video. So today we're in PayPal, and I'm going to be showing you how to create and send an invoice to somebody. Uh, so if you sold something or you need to request money from somebody for a service, I will show you how to create an invoice. So once you log into PayPal, you'll see the homepage. There'll be a tab here under the new PayPal UI that says Send and Request. Click on that tab there. Uh, once you do that, you'll see four options here. The one that we want to go to right now is Create Invoice. Invoice. Click on that create invoice option there. And then once we've clicked on that option, you'll see a few different things here. Uh, under this option here, you're going to see your business information, which will be like your business address, your business phone number, uh, whatever it may be. Uh, I'm going to gray that out, obviously, because I do not want you sending me stuff. Uh, but you'll have all your uh, pertinent information there. Uh, over here under the invoice information box here, you're going to see a few different things. If you want to be fancy, you can change that number to something higher so you look like you've sent out a ton of invoices when you really haven't but either way you can assign an invoice number you can assign an invoice date in which you want to send the invoice and then you can say this is going to be due uh, you know 10 days after you send it 40 to 5 days after you send it whatever you want to do uh, and then you can even uh, designate an exact due date by clicking on this calendar option here now when it comes to who we're sending this invoice to you have a few different options uh, one you can send to a single customer uh, via email address this is how this is going to go out you can choose single customer or multiple customers by going here and then typing in multiple email addresses here in this box and then you'll separate those by a comma uh, next down here we're going to see our customization options this is going to be for the item or product or service that you provided to them for this money uh, so let's just say item one will go here uh, so we'll put item one there you can even add a description but that's optional uh, you could even change the quantity to two or four or even 24 or whatever you want to do and then if there's tax obviously you want to add tax and then you could add the state here on you know wh which state the taxes are from and then what percentage rate that will be and then after we do that, uh, we can add other items by going here and hitting that little addition symbol there and then going here and uh, typing in different services or items. And then once we're done, uh, okay, so we're going to change the amount uh, of this item here. So the unit price is going to be, let's say it's going to be $99. So we got $99 there. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we can even apply discounts. We can add shipping and handling down here at the bottom of the uh, screen there. Uh, so once we do that, we got $99, 24 of them, which comes out to a whopping 2,376 total dollars. And then we could even go here and give them terms and conditions like you need to, you know, send me a receipt for this, whatever it may be. And then you can even leave them a nice note right here uh, in the note to recipients box. Uh, so that's basically what you want to do there as far as when it comes to the items or services that you provided. And then once we do that and we provide an email address to send it over to uh, and we make sure that our total is correct, we will then go to preview or send. And then once we're done, we can go ahead and send that or we can even save it as a template so we can come back later and use this template to send out multiple invoices. So basically that is how you create and send an invoice with in PayPal. If you have any questions, put those in the comment box below. As always, slap that like button, guys. Don't forget to share it with your friends and or family. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and I will see you guys in the next one.